What you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're taking a look at how to tell a PC hardware problem from a software problem. Now I see this happen quite a bit where people overcomplicate things and they end up going around looking for a hardware issue or a software issue and they spend either hours or days trying to find the problem and they just go around in circles. The quickest way and easiest way to determine whether you've got a problem with your RAM or your CPU or motherboard or GPU or power supply and things like that is to quickly uh, install Windows operating system. If you reinstall Windows and you put a fresh clean install of Windows on your computer and you remove any sort of hardware like hubs and things like that and just keep it very basic where you've got the cable going into the GPU and you've got your mouse and keyboard plugged in and that is it and you've reinstalled Windows and you are still getting a blue screen of death something like you can see on the screen right now or you're getting error messages popping up or something along those lines then it can't be related to Windows because you've reinstalled Windows with a nice, clean, fresh copy. You always want to get the latest version from Microsoft, download it and create a bootable USB flash drive, a nice, fresh copy of it, rather than using the old one that you've got lying around in case that media is corrupted in some way. Use a brand new copy, install Windows, and if you are still having issues, then it's going to be related to hardware. Anything in your computer it could be related to. Now I know a lot of people don't like reinstalling Windows and they're adamant they want to keep all their programs and all their precious stuff, back it up and do this method and it will save you a lot of headaches. Basically once this is done, you'll be able to quickly determine what is wrong here. All a shop is gonna do, a PC repair shop, is they're gonna quickly plug in a new power supply to see if the problem goes away. They'll take the GPU out of the equation, depending on what the problem is, and they'll put another GPU in. They'll take the cooler out of the equation and put a stock cooler on there. And they will also take the RAM sticks out and put a known working uh, RAM stick inside here to see if the problem goes away. If it doesn't, then they know it's related to either the CPU or the motherboard. And this is how quickly you can find out whether it's related to your hardware and software, and then you can quickly troubleshoot all of this here. If you insist on not reinstalling Windows, you're gonna go around in circles trying to find the problem. And it could be your operating system all along that's causing the issue and have nothing to do with uh, your computer. Another thing I wanna point out here as well, which will really help you, is if you have loads of uh, hardware plugged into your computer, for instance, uh, power supply extension cables, RGB fans, loads of different things like that, take these all out of the equation because these can be causing problems as well. Anything that can cause an issue, get back to basics. And what they will do, some PC repair shops is remove the uh, the actual motherboard out of the case, stick it onto the bench and basically do a post test to see whether there's any issues there uh, related to it when it's uh, bare bones rather than having loads of components plugged in. And this is going to be a simple way of quickly finding out whether you've got issues. Now people tend to overcomplicate the process and diagnosing a PC can be very, very tricky if you insist on not reinstalling Windows and you're trying to find out what the problem is. You'll need to go through a bunch of different uh, hoops to try and find the problem. The quickest way is once you know it's not software, you can then concentrate on the hardware and diagnose this. And this doesn't take too long to find out what the problem is. The next problem you may have as a home user, you may have difficulty in diagnosing a problem like this if you don't have spare memory or you don't have a spare GPU or you don't have another power supply. And this is where the problem lies. If you don't have any of this stuff, it's gonna be very, very difficult for you to troubleshoot and diagnose issues. The reason why I say that is, yes, you can run mem tests and programs like that to test your memory, but this can take 
a, a long time and if you've got intermittent issues with your memory uh, this can miss these little problems and you can end up going round in circles and uh, pulling your hair out so the quickest way is to uh, obviously swap this out with known good RAM and see if the problem uh, comes about always find out what the person was doing before uh, the crash so if it's blue screening you can ask them what they're doing if they're playing a game or they're rendering a video you would replicate that same thing with your new RAM in and if the problem goes away you know it's something to do with this it's not rocket science guys it's pretty straightforward stuff but anyway I just wanted to make that quick video for you because I get asked this question quite a bit on Discord and people are always asking for help and I always ask them, have you done a fresh install of Windows? And they say no, they don't want to lose all their programs. But if you follow those simple rules, you will quickly find out and diagnose what the problem is, whether it's software or hardware. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.